Major Bob Kating Rulangnau, a Tangkul Naga, was born in Ukrul district of Manipur on the 28th February 1912 to Hamring Rulang and my Sangvul. fortunate to have him as a father. He has taught us many things. One of them is that I remember him as a very upright, honest, very diligent, sensitive person and uh, humane, very humane. He always looked at the human side of any problem. He always tried to help people in his capacity he was in different, different capacities in the administration, but he was very good in that thing. So he had principles, and he taught us those principles under which we should live. He was a very God-fearing person. He believed in the might and the right of God, especially in Jesus. So he always taught us that we must always pray. Do not forget that you have a more powerful person up there. Don't, when you're in trouble, look up to him, ask him for his help, ask him for his guidance. So he was that way, very, very straightforward. In 1932, he founded the Tankul Student Union, which expanded in later years to become the Tangkul Katamnao Saklong. Major Bob Kuting graduated from Cotton College, Gowati, in 1937 and was a teacher at Harisingha Mission English School in the Bodo Tribal Belt of Mangaldai in Assam. The following year, he became the headmaster of the same school. Major Bob Kuting was persuaded by the SDO of Ukrul to join the army in the King's Commission. After clearing the interviews and was selected to the King's Commission as an officer, he was commissioned to the 19th Hyderabad Regiment in 1941 and posted to the Regimental Centre at Agra. The most important issue is the organization of the tribals of the Northeast to fight for a then unknown country called India. That, that seems to be the most important issue. Uh, of, uh, of, the air, of the time, that time. Subsequently, on, uh, on independence, Bob Kating rejoined the Indian Army and was posted for a while with the Assam Regiment. That is where I believe he met his wife. After World War II, he was assigned to the 3rd Battalion, Assam Regiment, as a co-commander based at Shillong. In 1945, he married Clarice Nora Lindo, a resident of Shillong. The couple was blessed with two sons and two daughters. He was a real family man. He loved the family. He would do a lot of things for a family. Even though we may not have deserved many things, but he used to overlook many of our lapses and try to correct us whenever he could, advise us what is to do which time to go, how to go about certain things. From an early age, Bob Cutting had the spirit of courage and adventure. He was a nature lover and an environmentalist. Angling by bait and fly casting was one of his favorite leisure pastime. My father used to love fishing, angling, you know. So right from young age, he had taken us out for fishing. I used to go, most of the time it was me who used to accompany my father. So he had put all the bait, put the line, fixed the line, everything. Then he said, now 